Are you looking for a way to organize all of your non-disclosure or NDA agreements within monday.com? Let me show you an easy board that you can set up where you can manage everything. And the best part is you can keep track of their due dates so none of them will expire without you knowing. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. I want to review with you this board set up for an easy workflow for managing your NDAs or your non-disclosure agreements. So first you can see that I have a group of NDAs in the pipeline, active NDAs and expired NDAs. So what I'm going to simply do is add a company that I want to send an NDA to, or you can add a person. So let's just pretend that I'm working with Nike. I can add Nike. I would add myself because I'm the person responsible. And then I can choose from a status column, maybe their employee, a vendor, a client, partner, whatever. Let's just say that they're my client. And I have the status here. So right now we're working on it. Now, the most important part of this board is the frequency of the items because we want to track when the NDAs were started, but how long they're valid for. So you can see in this frequency column that we set up one, two, or three years. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to set this to two years. So if I set that for two years, okay, what's going to happen is if I set my start date to today, the expiration date is going to push by two years. Okay. Let's just do another one. Let's just say that Google is also my client and I'm just going to set the expiration for one year for them. Now, once I set the start date as today, you're going to see that the automation is going to automatically set the expiration date for one year from today. Now, you can also add a files column here to actually add the NDA. So literally you have everything in one place, which is amazing. If I was setting this up in my board, I would actually take it one step further and use GetSign, which is an app that you can automate the creation of the documents. So you would have a template and then you create your NDA. And then you can automate the sending of it and your client signs it online and it shows up in this column, which is pretty cool. Not the goal of this video, but I do want to tell you that that's an option. So let me show you how I set up the automations on this board. The first two automations are about the group, like when it changes to active, move it to active NDAs. And when it changes to expired, move it to expired NDAs. I also have a notification to remind the person responsible for the NDA 30 days before it expires. So that way they know, we're just letting you know that it's expiring in 30 days. Now I've set up three different automations, which is based on the frequency of the years. So here I have like when start date changes and only a frequency is one year. We're going to set the expiration date to today. And then we're going to push the expiration date by 12 months. The same with two years, the same with three years. There are other ways to build this. Like you can have a numbers column and do automations off of that. But I think this is relatively simple because you usually don't have a lot of options for the number of years. So I decided to just break it out into these different automations. So just to summarize, you add an item, you put the person responsible, you can choose a type, your status, set your frequency, set your start date, and then the expiration date is automatically calculated based on your frequency. You also can add an automation about setting your start date, like when an item is created, or if you do the get sign option that I mentioned earlier, so you can have a file uploaded when the client signs the NDA. So essentially you'll get a notification that the NDA was signed. It will set the start date to today, and then it will automatically push the expiration date until whatever date it is based on the frequency. So there's a lot of options to play here with, but I think this is a really simple, easy workflow that you can use to manage and track all of your non-disclosure agreements. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.